Welcome. In front of me is a OnePlus Nord 3 and today I will show you how we can bypass the Google verification on this device. So, before I get started, I'm just going to quickly touch upon uh, the state of this device. So, at the moment, this device is locked using a pattern, as you can obviously see. And to unlock it, I would need to obviously provide the pattern or Alternatively, I could use the Google account instead, which I do by just closing this, right? I do want to show that it is locked right now. Now, in the guide um, and in some older versions of uh, the Oxygen OS, um, this process only works if I believe you have a pin. Um, but apparently, right now, this will work with no matter what you have, pin, pattern, password. So we will see if that is the case anyway. And to get started, all we really need to do is just not connect to Wi-Fi. But if you have already done so, uh, like I have right now, you have no way of disconnecting from it. So to do so, we're going to turn off the device. So press power key and volume up and then turn it off. And once it's off, you want to hold your power button and volume down at the same time. In a moment, you should see the OnePlus logo, at which point you want to let go of your power button, but keep holding volume down. From here, select your language and select format data. This will provide you with some randomly generated code right here, so we just need to confirm it. 7265 format. And so obviously format the device and once the process is finished it will reboot it and then after a couple or about a minute or so we will be presented with the setup screen so i'm just gonna let this run through and come back once we can see the setup screen okay so from here all we're going to do is progress to the setup. Once it asks us to connect to Wi-Fi, we will simply skip this process. And the question is, can we skip it? And yes, we can. So we're going to select skip. To protect your phone, please connect to... Okay, never mind, we can't. So the chances are this... Um, there was an update, I believe that has messed this up and uh, with that being said uh, this might go back to basically functioning only with if you have a pin set on the device and nothing else which was the case before for other devices so if your device previously had a pin and now it's asking you to verify it i believe you can still skip it uh, but it looks like anything else like password or pattern will not work because basically what should happen is you should be able to select skip right here and it should just skip, right? Not a very complicated process there. And from there you can set up your device and you're good to go. Now there, is, there would be one, one recommendation I would say to do after you have access to your home screen which is performing another reset of the device but done through settings. Now the reason for that would be uh, reset done through settings basically removes any kind of protection that was previously left on, into the, on the device and might be still somewhere in like the files. So doing so will basically ensure that you have got, gotten rid of every kind of protection that this device previously held. But anyway, it looks like uh, in the case of pattern, this will not work. So I can kind of left here. Anyway, if you found this video helpful, I know I didn't really show much here, uh, but if you did, don't forget to smash like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.